What's going on, Fins fans? It is your boy, Dylan, and I'm here to do my playoff predictor or path to the playoffs video. Obviously, at this point in the season, uh, you know, there are some things that are set in stone, some things that are definitive. So, um, you know, we're going to go through this, but at this particular point, you know, things are kind of getting decided, right? There's only a couple games. There's not a ton of scenarios that can play out, right? Like, for example, the Chiefs just got eliminated from contention for the number one seed. So there's literally no way that they can get it at this point. It is not possible. It is literally going to come down to two teams, Miami and Baltimore. And next week will be the deciding factor, right? So let's go ahead and pop over here. Uh, I have been talking about, you know, obviously, personally, I've been talking about um, when I've been doing these, you know, path to the playoff videos and what have you, I've been talking about it from the sense of getting the number one seed the entire time. However, um, at this point, it's really only about the number one seed because another thing that is definitive the Miami Dolphins have clinched the playoffs. So no matter what happens in these last two games, the Dolphins will be in the playoffs. What we're fighting for now is seeding and also, you know, potentially kicking the Bills out. Because, I mean, when it comes to the playoffs, that doesn't really matter in general. Um, you know, it's just whoever gets to the playoffs gets there and you have to play that team. If you have to play that team, right, it just it falls how it falls. But the Dolphins will potentially have an opportunity to knock the, the Bills out of the playoffs in week 18. Just kind of depends on how things go the next couple weeks. But let's go ahead and start taking a look at some of these scenarios and how things can play out. So as you can see, these are the results from this past weekend. Just quickly, we'll take a look at it. We would have preferred... We would have preferred if the Bengals would have won this game. Now, and obviously we would have preferred the Chargers would have won. Obviously, you can see that would have put the Bengals in sixth. The Bills would be out of the playoffs. But it is what it is. Um, we also would have preferred the Broncos to win. Here, real quick. Let's just change these things up just so you can see, right? So that would have had the Bills at 10th. Uh, and we also would have prefer, preferred to have had the Colts win that game. Actually, we would have preferred the Jags to win too because all of these teams would have just made it that much. And obviously, we would have preferred San Francisco to win, but that didn't happen. Um, and that Baltimore would still have the number one seed because of strength of victory if they would have lost because uh, we would have had the same record. However... We, we would have been tied with them. Uh, but we can still get the number one seed. We just, obviously, we have to win next week. And then, you know, honestly, we probably have to win the week after. All right, let's set these back to where they actually were. Okay, so let's get into this, though. I will say this is interesting, though. And the way the Patriots have been playing, and look, man, you know, they've dropped a couple spots in the draft. They could be looking to play spoiler on some other teams like the Buffalo Bills, for example, because they're getting ready to play them this upcoming week. Um, look, and by all accounts, Bill Belichick's not going to be the Patriots head coach. So he might, obviously, he's also chasing Don Shula's record, right? There are a lot of factors, but he could be trying to stick it to the organization a little bit too and be like, yeah, we're going to, I'm going to try and do everything I possibly can to make sure you do not get that top pick or, you know, either Drake May or uh, Caleb Williams because you're not high enough. And right now they're probably not high enough because I think they sit at five in the draft pool as it stands right now. Anyway, okay. So moving on. Things are going to be a little interesting going forward. All right, so let's just say real quick, we do actually want the Jags to win this game still because that will... Now, the Bills obviously are going to have to lose at some point as well, but that will, you know, dis depending on some other things, Jacksonville beating them and giving them another win, thereby putting them... That would give them nine and seven. So they'd have the same amount of wins and be in the fourth seed currently. It's just the one game, obviously. But um, um, but that would muddy up the waters, 
you know, in the back end of the playoff race and make it a little bit harder for the Bills to get in. Um, hang on, sorry. Just real quick, I also want to... Oh, shit. God damn it. I always do that. Okay, I also want to pull this up real quick. I don't know why I didn't have this up originally. Because this one puts it... Obviously, look, Dolphins have clinched. So, right here. Now, you have the Steelers and stuff. I mean, I guess technically... Because I'm just trying to think. I guess technically... If the Steelers were wit to win, that would bump them up into the seventh seed, as you can see, and make them nine and seven. So, yeah, I mean, I, since these are NFC opponents, definitely. We want the Jags and we want the, the Steelers to get those wins because then that muddies up the water and makes it a little bit more difficult at the end of the day for the Bills to get in as a wild card, obviously provided that the Dolphins get the division, which I think they will. Um, also, by the way, I mean, the Panthers, not very good. I do think that's realistic. I think this game could go either way, but I'll, I'll lean towards the Steelers in that one. Uh, let's just real quick go through these. I'm going to pick Dallas just because they're at home. I think the Eagles will get the win there. LA, San Francisco should rebound against Washington. Let's say Green Bay, because these ones don't matter. Let's say, uh, actually, let's go Baker Mayfield at home. And then, I don't know, I guess we'll go Bears. Those ones obviously don't matter to us, though, so those are kind of whatever. I do think these are realistic results, so we'll leave those. These, okay, so now, honestly, though, this is interesting. Because at this point, we actually do want the Jets to win. Now, if the Ravens would have lost... Last night, and they probably should have because the Niners just absolutely fucking destroyed themselves with mistakes, particularly all of those Purdy turnovers. Um, and frankly, I think they should have benched him at halftime and put Darnold in. Anyway, if they would have lost, then we could have secured the number one seed this upcoming week by beating uh, Baltimore and the Jets defeating the Browns but at this point we're not going to be able to do that because the Ravens won and the only real way we're going to actually be able to secure the number one seed frankly at this point is to win out so having said that well hmm I don't know it's interesting I mean Because that would drop the Browns to 10 and 6. I mean, this one's interesting. I mean, because you it's hard to, you know, you root against division rivals. But, and I mean, they would stay in the fifth. Well, let's just see how this plays out. Let's say, I mean, ideally, we would want the Colts to win over the Raiders. Ideally, because again, muddy up the waters. Obviously, we need us to beat Baltimore. Let's see, how does that... And that puts us up to the number one seed. As you can see, get the win there. Now, this one's interesting too, because I don't think this is necessarily a guarantee. Now, what we would want to win... I mean, we'll do the rooting guide later this week. But for now, let's put Buffalo. So they're still in the sixth seed. Uh, I think tennis or I think the Titans should be able to get the win. I think that's a fair bet. Um, honestly, the Chiefs, they're eliminated from the number one seed. So we actually don't really care about that anymore. Um, and we want the Bengals to be able to compete for the playoffs. And they have the head to head tiebreaker over the Bills. So we definitely want them to win. And I think it's possible. I absolutely think it's possible. You know what I'm saying? The, the Chiefs. They just got beat at home by the Raiders. The the Brown, I mean the Bengals are not terrible. We want the Broncos to win that one cuz again that should muddy the waters up a little bit there. And the Chargers are already eliminated for playoff contention, but I think the Broncos will, so I think that's reasonable. I think most of these picks are actually reasonable. So, um let's see. That would have Dolphins at number one and Bill's still in the sixth seed. All right, let's leave that for now. We will check some other scenarios, but let's go ahead to week 18 and fill the rest of this out. And then we can go through and change some stuff. So, all right, now this one's interesting. 
I mean, it doesn't, frankly, doesn't matter to us, but let's say Patriots, let's give, I don't know, because they're at home, both teams are super struggling, and I think Bill Belichick is really trying to fucking screw them on that number one pick. Uh, real quick, let's go uh, Cowboys, Eagles, Lions, I said Cowboys, let's go uh, Bucks, let's go Green Bay, Saints, sure, and Niners, because we don't care about those. Okay, now back over here. All right, so let's check this out. So as it stands, let's go, let's, let's work some of these other ones first. Let's say, I mean, what we would want here is, is we would want the Broncos to win. I think the Kansas City Chiefs will at least get their win there. I would say Jags, that's probably reasonable. Colts, that's probably reasonable. This one's tough. Let's say Bengals. Let's just say Bengals. Ravens should beat the Steelers. And then we beat the Bills. And that knocks the Bills out of the playoffs. Boom! Bills would be number eight just out of the playoffs. Now, let's see. Uh, I mean, let's say this changes. Okay. So as you can see, if the Browns were to end up 11 and 6, they would still be in the playoffs. But that would bump the Bills up to uh, seventh, even at ten and seven. So we would still need the Bengals. That would have three teams from that division. That's crazy. But then that would give, that would make sure the Bills stay out. Um, I'm just trying to, I, I'm trying to, because I'm trying to keep this as realistic as possible. So I'm trying to also check the scenarios where I think it could go either way. Um, I mean, I think the Colts probably will get the win over the Texans. Um, does it change anything? No, Bills still wouldn't be in the playoffs there, so that one really doesn't matter. Um, would this one matter? Nope, Bills still not in the playoffs. Okay, fine. So a couple different scenarios there. How about this? So let's say... I mean, let's say the Browns win this one because that's actually pretty fucking reasonable, though. So I think the Browns actually will win this one. So let's put that back and let's leave that and then we'll see that that's at. So they're at 11 and 6 there. Colts, okay. Um, now, look, the, at the end of the day, like I said, the Dolphins, they cannot lose to Baltimore and get the number one seed. That's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. So... They have to get that. So part of what we're doing here at Path to the Playoffs is looking for the number one seed. So we're going to leave that one. I mean, obviously, if New England gets the upset, I'm not going to change this one because if New England does get the upset over the Bills, then that obviously goes a long way to eliminating them from the playoffs. Um, let's see. If the Chiefs were to get the win over the Bengals. So see, I mean, we, we definitely need to win the Bengals to win probably at least one of these next two. Um, maybe even both of them if we're going to, you know, keep the, the Bills out of the playoffs. Obviously, then, too, they're going to have to suffer a loss. But, let, I mean, let's say, you know, but see, that's the thing is, is if New England gets the upset, then the Bengals could lose against the Chiefs. And let's say they even lose against the Browns, but the Browns win. So see, the Bills not in the playoffs in that that scenario either. Right? So even if so even if the Browns beat the Bengals in the final week and the Bengals lose to the Chiefs this upcoming week, which is possible the, the Bengals could lose the next two. The Bills could still be out if the Patriots were to upset the Bills this week. And then obviously also lose to the Dolphins. But let's see. So if the Bills were to win that, then Dolphins drop to number two and they're back in the playoffs. So then that would come down to playoffs. Or, I mean, uh, week 18 for knocking them out of the playoffs. So, as you can see, I mean, there's not a whole lot of variations. I mean, I could switch up a bunch of these other games, but I think this is all pretty reasonable. Here, let me just get it to the most reasonable. Now we've checked a couple different scenarios. 
Mo a lot of them, the Bills still don't make it in. But again, we're going to have an opportunity to knock them out, I think, in week 18, which would also be fantastic. Because if we could get that game, if we could, if that game could be simultaneously for the number one seed and knocking the Bills out of the playoffs, I mean, that would just be. It, that would be the best regular season. I'm going to say it like that. I was I was about to say that's the best season we've ever had in fucking the past 20 plus years. But let's just say regular season. I mean, frankly, that would be the best season period over the past 20 years because we haven't even had any success in the playoffs when we got there. So uh, the couple times that we got there, right? So that re actually would be the best season we've had in a long ass fucking time. Um, but definitely the best regular season. So anyway, uh, but so let's see, I do expect the bills though, to get that win. <sighs> this one's up in the air, but you know what? I just can't feel the chiefs right now. So I am going to say Bengals. and then let's see that. Okay, sure. And then Ravens over Steelers, Browns over Bengals. Uh, the rest of these, I think, are probably right. Although, you know, maybe this one, but that doesn't really change anything playoff-wise. So, yeah. And then, really, it would just come down to the Bengals, too. So, the Bengals definitely would need to win, it looks like, both of their last two games. So, it looks like we're we're kind of hinging on us and the Bengals. It looks like, right now... The key to keeping the Buffalo Bills out of the playoffs is the Dolphins win their next two games and the Bengals win their next two games. That would also give the Dolphins the division title and the number one seed. Or the Bills need to also get upset this week and then we beat them in week 18 and the Bengals win just one of their next two. Uh, is something along those lines. All right, anyway, I know it's kind of confusing at times, but it is what it is. Obviously, it's getting a lot less confusing because there are a lot less scenarios at this point. And so, look, I mean, I think there may be one more of these videos because after next week, it'll just be, okay, you know, what upsets happened and what's what's the final look? Next week is going to be the final look at the path to the playoffs and all that stuff. See if the Dolphins are still able to capture that number one seed. And then just see how things shake out the rest of the way as far as being able to keep the Bills out of the playoffs. So on and so forth. All that good stuff. So, And at this point, there's no chance that we wrap up the number one seed this upcoming week, even if we beat Baltimore. So we're definitely going to be playing for something for sure, for sure in that last game unquestionably if we beat Baltimore when we beat Baltimore this upcoming week the number one seed will be up for play and again as I've said a couple times potentially knocking the bills out so anyway that's what I got for you guys this is the path to the playoffs video like I said only about one more coming um, I am going to get out of here Make sure, you know, you leave comments down in the comment section. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Help me grow my channel. I do appreciate that. Uh, all the help I can get is wonderful and appreciated. Uh, every little bit helps. So, like I said, comment. Leave a uh, – hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Share it with your friends and family, all that good stuff. And I'm out. I will catch you guys soon. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys. And fins up all day, every day.
Miami wins it.